Hey guys, Mike coming back with another video. This is kind of an update on the Pelty auction where I got all this stuff from Love of the Game. Uh, I have actually tracked down a couple more pieces that was auctioned off and other people won, but I got in touch with them and was able to work out deals to acquire them. Um, so I was very happy about that. Um, I got a few SGC return, a photo, and this here was very nice. This, uh, after a week or so after Love of the Game sent me my Pelty stuff, uh, I got a package from them in the mail, and I had no idea what they were going to send me, because I figured, I thought, well, maybe they sent me a, like a PSA DNA letter they forgot to include with, uh, with the stuff. And um, when I opened it up, I was surprised to see it's a lot of interesting items associated with Pelty as far as when he passed, newspaper clippings, uh, obituary columns, uh, even some letters that he received. I haven't had time to research them yet. I don't know if they're from teammates or who. Um, you know, Charles C. Spink and Sung, uh, they had something to do with uh, sporting news, I believe. Um, letters from friends. I love how back in the day in small towns, you could just put somebody's name in their city and state and it would get to where it's going. But uh, very nice stuff. It's got uh, uh, these, uh, I love how they call that death column, uh, obituary column, necrology. Um and a picture of healthy with a old-fashioned hats on very cool but this is some different obituaries that um that um were written i don't know for sure what publications these are in um this is a article starting to sporting news is on doing obituary for him and put that in their paper uh, this is the original one from the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, Thursday, May 25th, 1939. He actually passed away on um, Wednesday morning, and um, this was the main column, and they had a whole bunch of these articles on it uh, from this newspaper. Someone sent them, I guess a few people sent them copies of this. And um, I've got extras. If anybody's interested in one of these, let me know. Just kind of a neat little piece that talks about his life. And the letters that he received, they just threw all this in. I asked him, uh, Andrew was the guy that I've been talking to with Love of the Game. Very nice guy. Um, very helpful. And then he was... He talked to the company, or to Love of the Game, and they thought that all these pieces should belong with the scrapbooks. And that's why they sent them to me, was because I won the scrapbooks from the auction. So a nice little piece to go with everything else from the scrapbooks. Anyway, very cool. Now on to the two pieces I won. This one's very cool. This is a... 1910 type 1 charles conlon cabinet photo um just beautiful uh, there's a card there's a but well, it's actually a disc that's a pelty that's available it's called the 1910 juju drums uh, as far as grading, PSA is graded 2 and SGC is graded 1. And uh, they actually, it's a small disc, I guess kind of like a Kogan's chips. And it's just of his head. And just by looking at it, I noticed that they used this photo to make that disc. So that's pretty cool. But I had a Conlon of, well, I have a Conlon of Hank Greenberg already. And I had a Paul Thompson of Barney, and I wanted to get a Conlon from the auction. And it, it just got, with all the other stuff I was bidding on, it just got too much. So I had to let it go. But uh, 
I did find a guy on Net54 that owned this, and he was willing to sell it uh, for a reasonable, you know, small profit off of it, of course. But uh, it's hard when there's so many items you're looking at in your bitty bit bid, and you just uh, you have to be kind of watch so you don't win too much as far as my, you know the money goes. But after it was all over with, it was nice to track them down and be able to work out a deal. So. So happy to get a Conlon uh, Barney, and I'll send that off to PSA. That's after the first of the year. And then I also tracked down on Ned 54 the guy that won this. It's a 1908 General Photo postcard of the St. Louis Browns, 1908. Um, it's interesting, but Pelty and Wallace, and there's Barney there. The, that was a year that uh, Rube, Bar, Rube Waddell was on the team. A very popular player. Not for sure how the circumstances is that he ended up on the Browns, but uh, it makes the postcard uh, more interesting as far as the players. You got two Hall of Famers on there now. Uh, but very nice. Uh, I think SGC has graded three of these. I couldn't find it on PSA, but these are tough. I mean, as long as I've been pe uh, collecting Pelty stuff, I've never seen this postcard before. Um, but again, it's something that those two photos, this and the photo are something that uh, Barney actually owned. And it's just so cool that um, this stuff came from his estate. It was has essentially been in their possession since the items were made uh i talked to andrew about the conlon uh, it's even it's marked on the back evening telegram of new york they think that this might have been either a gift from conlon to pelty to maybe but entice him to buy more because a lot of these don't have that backing on them that you buy you see his photographs but, uh, or it could have been Pelty purchased it directly from the photographer and, um, just kept it like that. And that's beautiful. Can't wait to get that framed up. And then we'll move on to a few items. The Hank, I uh, found a postcard online. It's very nice. I've got one of these, but I'm going to send it to PSA. And see what get that slabbed up, but I might sell that one. We'll see it. I'll see which one I like better slabbed up. I got back my 36 Gaudi. Uh, beautiful. Came back 3.5. Very happy with that. And it's uh gives me all seven now without signatures as far as the seven back variations for the 36 Gaudi. Uh, this is a card I got off Brian years ago and i decided to go ahead and get it slabbed up it's a national chico from 2010 and it was signed by the artist it's a and it's numbered to 10 artist proof came back double tens <laughs> i wasn't expecting that and then i got some of these national treasures. I had these for a long time. This is 2012. Back then they wouldn't slab it because um, they were thick cards, but now they can do thick cards. So I'm starting to send some of these bin, uh, back in to get them slabbed up. This one's got Greenberg, Jimmy Fox, and Mel Ott. Looks like a piece of glove from Jimmy Fox. But these are numbered to 10. There's four of ten. Very cool. And this year, uh, Tops, I guess Fanatics decided to get Hank back in the mix for Tops products. He hasn't had his picture on anything for a few years now. Uh, and then this year's Allen and Ginter. Uh, this is from Ginter X. This is the red mini. Hand numbered to five. And then this is actually one of the rip cards, numbered to 25. And no one might gonna rip it. <laughs> I have a bunch of bench rip cards and now my first hang. So I'll keep it just like that. 
But I'm so happy to see him back in Topps products again. So now maybe we'll see some cut autos with uh, his picture in them, uh, which will make him much more desirable. And then we'll end on this photo of the night, as Rick would say. Uh, this is a 1934 World Series with the Detroit infield, including you know, Hank, of course, and Charlie Geringer. We got this from RMY Auctions. They specialize just in photos, so you can usually find some really neat stuff. Beautiful photo, great picture. You can even read his name on the bat there. But uh, very happy to get this in the collection. Uh, type 1 photos seem to really be taking off right now. I think that's going to be a big um, collector market. Bigger when it's big now, but it's going to get a lot bigger, I think, especially with all the Ruth and Gary and those type photos. And going back to like what Rick collects with Matthewson and all that. So glad I already have some of these Hanks. Um, because it's going to be harder and harder to get these. But this is a great photo of the team before the, I think it was right before the start of the World Series. Uh, this is October 8th, 1934. Acme Newspapers. But very cool. I hope you enjoyed that. I am going to probably add all the Pelty stuff to one of the scrapbooks just to keep it all together. And uh, still looking for more. If anybody would see any from Love of the Game that comes up for auction, I assume some people buy things to flip. Hopefully, we'll I can catch them and maybe work out a deal for them. But uh, again, thank you everybody for watching. I hope everybody's having happy holidays and all the best. And I'll see you again, Lord willing. Bye bye.